Hello, I'm Melinda Iverson in and I want to today I want to talk about this beautiful recording wire. Now I have two screens going so you're going to have to sort of pick <laughs> uh, which one you're going to look at but I wanted to um, help you. Those of you that have a recording wire who've been asking me how um, do I use this? Now the history of this recording wire as I understand it not this particular recording wire, but of a recording wire, um, the recording wire in general. I learned about this from the work of Robert J. Wade Mahaney, who my teacher had studied. And Robert J. Wade Mahaney learned this from a lady named Frances Nixon in 1974. Um, now, whether it was this particular precision wire model, I don't know, but this is the precision wire model that um, that I have been using since 2003. Um, I did switch to a pendulum for a while because honestly, I couldn't get this thing in my purse. And every time I tried to shove it into a bigger bag, it would break right here. But I have recently come back to it in the last um, couple of months. So if you're using a recording wire, and now I just want to show you this chart. So this is a, on the other screen, this is a dowsing chart here, a, a half percentage chart. Now, you can get no's just like you would with a pendulum, a no, and a yes, right? right? Here's the yes going this way and the no's going this way. You can do that. That's one way to get yes and no's. Another way to get yes and no on this wire would be a no is this way and a yes would be to the opposite direction. So this is my left is a no and my right would be a yes. So you don't have to wait for entire rotations. So a yes rotation or a no rotation if you don't want to. Now, you can get full rotations if you want to. So a yes meaning, you know, yes, rotation clockwise, no, rotation counterclockwise. Now, um, and you can do percentages just like you would on a chart. So, um, you know, positive percent this to the right, negative percent percentages to the left. So. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 30, 20, 10, right up to zero. And then this would be all the way um, to 10 or 100, depending on if you add zeros to the positive side. That's how I um, use, use it um, sometimes. So now I'm gonna just change the view um, so you can see me actually working it um, on the screen. I'm gonna change this to speaker view here. Uh, okay, there we go. Now, um, so here's the here's the deal with that. Um, wire, wire, speaker view. That's me. Okay. Now, while you are um, working your wire, so here it is, right here. Let's see if I can get it in frame. Right. So this is a rotation shaft right here and it turns independently. Um, when I was first teaching people how to use dowsing rods, I had a, um, a straw. Well, now you can use a paper straw um, with a coat hanger inside of it. And it would um, act as this sheath right here. So here is the recording wire now. Uh, let's say I want to do work. So what I'm doing is I kind of just let my wire float around a little bit. Um, I get comfortable with it. The fingers, your forefinger and your thumb go at the very top of this ridge right here. Right there. That's where the inspiration is going to come through. So when I start, it a, does a little bit of a waggle and I just kind of like, okay, I'm ready for a question. You don't have to do that. You can just start with it in directly on the no, um, that way to the left. 
and just begin to ask. Now, let's say I want to um, work on uh, protocols for myself and I want to douse my etheric chakras. Um, my question is, is there an imbalance in any of Melinda's chakras at the etheric level? And I get a no. So it didn't even move from the no. It just sort of went back to the no. Um, if I want to try a different protocol, I would swipe my wire or I would shake it. So let's go to the subtle bodies. Does Melinda need any subtle bodies at the etheric level? I get a yes. Now it can go to the right all the way or it can give you a complete rotation as a yes. So what subtle bodies does Melinda need? She needs astral, causal, no. See, it's not giving me a complete rotation, so I'm just kind of waiting. Astral, causal, egoic, etheric. Oh, I got a whole rotation. So I got a yes as a whole rotation. If I didn't want to do a yes as a whole rotation, then I would just say etheric, and I would get a yes going straight forward, up and down like the chart, or I would get a yes just to the side. When you're adding something, you can say, please saturate Melinda with the appropriate etheric body energy and run the wire will run by itself actually until it's finished and then it will stop just like a pendulum. Okay, now if you're counting, you can do counting Say I want to count by 10, so I want to get to, I don't know, 50. So I go 10, not quite, 20, 30, 40, 50, and it'll stop right there. So I know that that's where I want to go is 50, okay? So if you're counting, you can, the number that you're looking for, it will stop either straight up or it will give you a complete yes to the right. I know it's kind of confusing on this screen, but you just have to kind of play with it because everything is a little backwards. So just remember counterclockwise adding, uh, counter, counterclockwise negating, clockwise adding um, rotation, bringing in energy, counterclockwise is neutralizing energy. So we're balancing something. We want to run clockwise until we're done and then we'll stop. We want to neutralize something like an electromagnetic field, um, anything like that. And you can run it backwards until it stops. And then, of course, you thank your team. There. Now, these recording wires um, are... Um, Quite possibly there will be some available. If you would like one, you can um, leave me a note in the chat. Um, I have some that are being being um, produced for me. There's only one person um, or two people that I know that are actually producing these and I am in contact with one of them. If you're interested, I, I actually love this instrument. Um, I feel really good about it how it moves energy. You can work on big projects or you can work on just yourself. Or if you're working with a client um, also, I find it, it feels just like the pendulum. So when you're moving a lot of energy, it will have some weight to it. It may rotate a little faster. Either way, um, whichever direction you're working in, either neutralizing or bringing in energy. Anyway, I hope that this helped. Um, bring a little bit more um, information to you about how to use one of these if you have a precision wire or even if you're going to use um, a dowsing rod and you have a set of two, you know, you can always use one uh, just like this, you know, just use one and use it just like a precision rod. You can also use it for locating things, you know, show me the line of bearing to, to whatever it is you have in your mind and it will rotate and show you that you know, depending on what it is. Um, 
I found a remote control um, based on this dowsing rod. Um, <laughs> it kept telling me, it kept showing me that it was that way and I kept walking and I'd end up in my bedroom and, um, but lo and behold, no matter where you looked, you couldn't find it. And it kept saying, it's in here, it's in here. It wasn't under the bed. It wasn't in any of the drawers. It wasn't hidden behind anything, but it kept showing me the exact location. So finally, my husband and I pulled back the mattress. We pulled the entire mattress off the bed and lo and behold, the remote was actually um, made into the lower bottom sheet. So you would never have seen it. Even if you just raised the mattress, it was actually tucked in in the exact location underneath the bottom sheet. So trust your dowsing and um, enjoy and practice and let me know how it goes. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in. Till next time, it's Melinda Iverson in, and uh, you can find me at melindaiversonin.com. Lots of love. <laughs>